Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is day 18 of our 2022 Brewer's Advent calendar and our German language butchering. Today we are drinking Graminga Kirta from the Graminga Weissbräu out of Autotinga, Germany. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to the Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We have made it through 17 days of the Brewer's Advent Calendar 2022. Today is day 18 and we are on the home stretch. Uh, I guess we've got, what, seven beers left? Is that my math right? Yeah. Yeah, seven beers. All right, so uh, with that, we've got another one that we're excited to bring to you tonight and, and give a shot. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheer to that notification bell. That would help us out. Also, be sure to check us out on social media. Links are below. And as always, we would love to have you come say hey in Discord, and would love to see you there. I've got Jay. I've got Andy in the festive attic. I am Ben. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? Can you do it? Germinga Kirka. Kirta. It's a Dunkel Weiss. Sounds great to me. So I'm ready to crack it and get drinking. So Andy can educate us on it. So this is our second one from the Germinga Weissbroy out of Altatinga. The first one, I don't know if you can see on the tree up at the top Ooh. was the Graminga Defe. Yeah. Yeah. Similar the hand hells. art. Yeah, it's just uh, mm. that one's red. That one's actually stirring the cauldron. This so, guy's got a, got a pretzel on there, huh? A little beer and a pretzel? I don't know. It's uh, in the eye of the beholder. I don't know. <laughs> Looks um, like a pretzel to me. Okay. This is our um, first Dunkelweizen, Weizen, actually, I think, Dunkelweizen. Uh, it is, translates to dark wheat. Dark Dunkel. wheat. It is much darker than the, the other ones that I think we've had out of the box, except for yeah. maybe... Um, the Schwarze Tinta, yeah, the actual stout. Yeah, this one's stout. got... This is like, uh, it's, it's a lovely, hazy, <clears throat> dark... Yeah. yeah. I like it, that. It's copper. Amber. Yeah. Somewhere in there. It oh. looks like uh, somebody did not properly pour like a half and half or a, a black and tan or something. And they mix yeah. too much. Because when I put it up to the light, it's like the dark in the center, but around it is, is all lit. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, mates. Drink it up. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. So you mentioned this is, mm. I know this is the first Dunkel Weiss beer that we've actually tried on the show. I don't know that I've had one any other time. Yeah, it, it's like a, a mix between a Dunkel, which is dark beer, and uh, Weizen, you know, or the wheat beer. Mm. And you can, you can pick up that Weizen, you know, the, the Weiss beer, the, uh, like the banana-ish type of, uh, yeah. like a Hefe. But the, a little bit of like a malt caramel character to it, like you would get in a, a dunkel. Yeah. So it's, this it's one, a, it's a bit ahead. confusing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. So complex. Well, oh. Maybe we'll, we'll we'll refer to it as that. Yeah. This was originally created as a fest beer for the Altatinga Kirta. Now I tried to figure out what character means I, it didn't translate to anything on, at least on my app but it appears to be a festival kind of like Oktoberfest is to Munich I think this Kirta is to uh, Altatinga what that yeah Oktoberfest is to Munich so it's a party beer yeah and I think in in uh, kind of back during COVID times lockdown you know I watched a lot of videos on Oktoberfest and one of the things I came across at some point was that, you know, we think of the Oktoberfest that's in Munich, the, the big one. Um, but 
you know, there are others, smaller ones that are yeah. uh, around the country. Um, so. Well, that one was specifically for a royal wedding. So, right. you know, other ones just might have like a, a fall festival, like a car, right. you know, fall carnival, a um, harvest fest, you know, things like that. So we went over a little bit on the DEFE um, back some days ago um, from this brewery, but uh, I found out a little bit more about it. So the, it's hard to see, but on the DEFE, it showed like a little, this devilish being stirring a, uh, like a cauldron or a big pot. So, the brewery was founded in 1900 by a blacksmith. So this master blacksmith, he came up with the idea to sell beer uh, and snacks to the farmers that were waiting on his services, you know, so while he was fixing whatever their farm, farming, you know, machinery to implement. <laughs> so he made beer in a, uh, a large washing kettle. And so the DFA showed this huge look like a cauldron that was to represent the kettle. Well, it went well. And so he ended up selling it as a brewery, his blacksmith shop. And he built a new forge next door um, to the, you know, what was then now the brewery. And so the current owners, uh, it's been in their family since 1920. Well, wow. Yeah. Cool. Kind of uh built out of uh, start a business started out of necessity. Yeah. We salute them. This is Absolutely. 5%, uh, 24 IBUs. Throw that in there. Yeah. Good deal. Well, I guess um, if, he, uh, if he were to get some of his patrons a little tipsy, that way they couldn't notice that the work wasn't of top quality. I don't know. They didn't reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it might also depend on how long the work took as yeah. to what the actual yeah, job like, was it's gonna be a while let me give him some yeah. beers yeah, yeah. So, might no try that in my, in my field no breach yeah. of contract there huh? <laughs> and give him a plate of pretzels with the beer is that what we're saying that is sure yeah, yeah. pretzels yeah it's gotta have pretzels and beer i mean yeah. that's what we got. <laughs> all right well uh I think it's time to to rate this one. Uh, <laughs> moving along, <laughs> moving along, right along. Uh, I'll go first. Um, this is maybe my favorite one we've had so far. Um, I really, really like this one. Uh, I think it's very interesting that of the you know the beers that we've seen here, we've talked about several, and it's mostly been the Martins and the Fest beers of how they are either kind of in between you know, uh, of what we normally think of or what we've normally probably had as a March and or fest beer. Um, and this one, you know, is in between the two styles as well. Uh, it, it's, it's great. I mean, you definitely get that, you know, the, definitely the banana and the malt. And I mean, that's just the perfect combination, I think. Um, so <laughs> this one for me is a nine. I really, really, really like this. Wow. So I am super upset that, you know, I can't <laughs> just go to the store and buy this. So wow. that's what I think. Monster score there. Yes, it is very good. Mm. Andrew? Let me um, see what Ben's drinking here. <laughs> you want to process? Or... That was the same can, right? This is what you uh, <laughs> no. I like it. It is maybe good. you just need a pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it it's a uh, it's fun beer. It's because you can you know if I weren't looking at it and I drink it, I'd be like, initial instinct is that hefeweizen. It's it's mm -hmm. that that light banana flavor. But then when you uh, it lingers with the malt on it and. I think it's it's very easy drinking and it's fun. I I can't recall, you know, we've had Dunkels, we've had Weizens and Hefeweizens, but I can't think off the top of my head having a Dunkel Weizen. So it's good. So I have nothing to compare it to. I'm going to give this guy an eight. It's it's fun.
fun. All right, Jay. <clears throat> you know, um, Ben, you kind of you threw me for a loop there for a second. You know, uh, jumping so high up. Um, you know, I, I agree with you guys. This thing is easy drinking. It's to me, it's almost crushable. I don't know. Um, the flavor on it is is really great. Um, some of the heffies to me, they get a little too weedy. Um, but this one is spot on. I mean, it's great color, great carbonation. It's it's not overbearing. It makes you feel gaseous. I, I, I think I'm going to have to go with Andy on it, an eight. All right, that's going to give us an 8.3 for the Germinga Kirta Dunkel Weissbeer. Uh, definitely a really, really good one. Um, grab you some pretzels and go get you one of these if you can. Um, so, yeah, come back tomorrow. We're going to be doing day 19 of our Brewer's Advent calendar. We're getting close to the end, um, but uh, this has been a, been a fun uh a fun advent calendar to run through and we hope you have enjoyed this video as uh, as well as checked out some of our other videos um randy in the attic and jay i and ben cheers mates cheers mates, cheers, mates. <laughs>